Hi everybody, this is part two of me working on the scrunchie while chatting and having lunch. Um, the other video unfortunately got cut off after um, 33 minutes. Uh, YouTube just allows you so many uh, minutes when you're new. Uh, I was told by another YouTuber that I watched that she um, was only allowed to make 15 minute videos in the beginning. They're giving me 33 minutes and about a Anywhere from 9 to 11 seconds, which, you know, is fine. That's a nice size video, especially for a beginner. And um, what I'm working on is the scrunchies. Um, this is part two, being I didn't get to finish it in the first one. I don't knit and crochet that quickly. But what I'm doing is I do three double crochet in each chain. To see how I started it, you have to watch... Um, crocheting and chatting part two, which uh, also states uh, scrunchy part one. And I also have lunch uh, mentioned in the title. I don't recall if I said that. But anyway, um, i doing three crochet videos today while chatting. Last week I did three videos knitting a puppet and chatting. I didn't have lunch because during those because my sister eventually took us all out for lunch. She treated us to lunch. So that was a nice surprise. So this time week being I'm home by myself, I'm doing lunch and um, videos. Like I said, I'm just going to finish this um, scrunch you off and um, let everybody see what it looks like finished. I showed them how how it looked uh, when the just the one row was done on the bottom. I'm working on the top row now. Um, the video, I forget whose video I watched to learn how to make these, but um, she, the woman only did two rows. They had the choice of doing one or two rows, and I always choose to make two. If the customer wants, if a customer comes up to me, or if they just, or if a customer wants just one row on the uh, scrunchie, that's fine. I don't mind. It's so whatever the customer wants. They're paying for it. So, how's everybody's day going so far? Um, what's everybody working on or doing? I know not everybody's a crafter, so I'm so used to saying what's everybody working on. Of course, when we watch each other's channels on the live streams, which I can't do yet because I don't have a thousand subscribers. And I'm not sure how to work StreamYard and DLive. And I think there's something else that we could do live before we could, um, before we have our thousand subscribers. But right now I'm happy just making videos and, uh, trying to get more, um, YouTube family members. I don't like calling them subscribers. I'm not charging for anything and... I'm not asking anybody to buy a magazine or book or anything. So I like to say it's my YouTube family members. Family members seem so much nicer. Because after a while, once we get to know each other, we are family. The few channels that I like, we're all there praying for each other. Um, if somebody's sick or if we uh, pray for them or... Uh, there's a couple of ladies that are doing a uh, fundraiser for a woman that needs a wheelchair, a new wheelchair, and the insurance don't cover it. And she needs a special one because, I don't know if she lives in Canada or where she lives, but anyway, it's really cold and has a bunch of snow and ice, and she needs a special wheelchair. So when she's out and you park in the parking lot, even if you are in handicap, sometimes you still have a little ways to the store, and you need to be able to get through it. Especially if she's on her own. Um, it's nice, you know, that she could uh, get through the snow and ice and not have to worry about, oh, gee, I got to stay home because of my wheelchair. So. Excuse me. Not sure what's wrong with the wheelchair she's got now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk with food in my mouth. I'm not sure what's wrong with her wheelchair now. But um, anyway, she needs a new one. Well, I can understand this one isn't um, working out too well for her anymore. Well, like I said, I don't recall the exact um, 
uh, reason why it's not working out anymore. Um, it's the people doing the fundraiser is Creations by Jax, J A X, um, Mama Swift, and I believe Sins, C Y N S, Creation. Crochet Creations or Sins Crafting Creations or Sins Crochet World. I don't recall the exact channel name, uh, but I'll put them in the description if I, when I put the uh, title of the uh, this video in it. And the woman that I usually do the praying, the prayer request for is Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D, D-E-E. -E. And also another woman that does a lot of praying is Triple C and Joe Show. It's Dana and Joe. Uh, and Joe also has his own channel, Joe's Ministry and Sports, I believe it is. But, um... I'll put all those in the description. But if you even go through my, um, I believe it's my channels, you'll see uh, Triple C and Joe Show. You'll see Joe Sports and Ministries. Uh, you'll see um, Sin, the correct name for her channel. You'll see um, Nip Pro and Squirrel with Granny D. You'll see Mama Swift, you'll see uh, Crochet Creations with Jax. So you'll see all that in my channels. If you uh, want to go through my channels. But I'm going to do my best to put them in um, my uh, description. Grab another piece of my cucumber. I don't know why I was in the mood for a cucumber today. And coincidentally, we went shopping and we got like 20 of them. We got so many because we like picking at them. Besides having them in our salads. What else did we get when we went shopping? Some cabbage, some butternut squash. I should have done a video with that, but... I didn't. I gotta start doing um some videos in my um shopping hauls, whether it be of um my yarn or some grocery shopping or whatever. I just have to get sometimes we buy snacks and then we're eating them in the car and well there goes the video for unbox for the shopping haul. I have sour cream and ranch dressing for my um, cucumbers. When I'm finished with this video, I'm going to finish cutting up the one cucumber so I can finish my sauce and ranch sauce and sour cream. When I make the uh, ramen soup, the ramen chicken noodle soup, my nephew got me hooked on putting a dollar... Um, a dollop or a dollop or a spoonful, whatever you want to call it, of sour cream in it and a squirt of, um, what is it, a squirt of ranch. Um, and then my mom used to put tuna fish in hers. So sometimes I'll put the sour cream and ranch in. Sometimes I do both, sometimes one, depending on what we have. And then, um... There are times when I'll just put a can of tuna fish in it. Or sometimes if you get the tuna fish in a like a, a tear open package. Sometimes I'll just put one in the, the soup and it helps make it a little more filling. Uh, sometimes I'll add um, mac and cheese to the my ramen soup. Or a little bit of pasta or a hot dog. Sometimes I'll add a hot dog and cheese. Sometimes just cheese. 
I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit to give it a little more flavor. Kind of play around with your food. Never know what you might like. And if you don't like it, you know not to try it about uh, whatever you're putting it again. But you never know what you're gonna like unless you play around with your food. You know, like I said in the last video, this is going to be mine. Anything I make with this ball yarn, I'm going to keep for myself. And I showed it in the other video. Um, these are the ponytail holders I use. I get them from the dollar store. Do all this 15 to these. And they also have uh, 18 packs. Well, these are 15 also. Um... But they are 15 and 18 packs at the dollar store. And um, here I got six of them. Two of the rainbow. And I got four of the black here. I got two more black um, ponytail holders. Um, they're in my bag somewhere. They may fall into the bottom. I always keep them on here so this way they don't get lost. But two of these full of 15 each must have gone to the bottom where I put a thing of yarn on top of it. And that's why I wasn't seeing them. But um, anyway, I try to always have four things of ponytail holders so that if I need a small project to fill in the gap, like uh, sitting in a doctor's office or um, maybe driving somewhere, you want a small project to do. Uh, well, I don't drive, so for me it's uh, fine if I'm doing it as I'm in a car while somebody else is driving. Um, or maybe you're, if you're at the kids' school waiting for one of their programs to start, you could keep a small ball of yarn in your pocketbook with a couple of um, ponytail holders so you can make the scrunchies. They'll sit while you're sitting there doing nothing, unless you're talking to other parents. But, um, you know, it just pays to have something small in your bag to work on if you um, need to kill a few minutes. And uh, nowadays, uh, a lot of people, uh, they uh, go to use food pantries. A lot of them now would drive through. They load your car up for you. So if you sometimes, if you could be sitting in a pantry 15, 20 minutes, a half hour, waiting for your turn to drive up, and uh, you have a small project to work on. Uh, a few times my family and I, we donated to uh, different food pantries. There's um, one here in northern Florida. It's a clothing food. Um, it's instead of a food pantry, it's clothing. It's a clothing closet, they call it. They got one room for men, women, and... Well, I'm sorry, one room for women and girls, and another room for men and boys, where it's all men's and boys' clothing, and another one where it's all women and clothes, girls' clothing, uh, including babies. And um, I want to donate to them a bunch of pillowcase dresses that I want to make. I have the pillowcase, I'm sorry, like I said, I'm still sorting craft supplies, but um, I do have a bunch of pillowcases, and um, I gotta look at the uh, elastic that I have to see if it's the correct size elastic that I have for the dress. And I got the, uh, I forget what the things for the straps are called, but I have some of those too. But I need to get all my crafts in order, be my, uh, Whatever clothes I'm getting rid of, tried on and gotten rid of and out of the way. Uh, I'll be working on most of my crafts in the house. Uh, well, I could do a lot of them in the shed once I'm done going through everything. Um, trying to downsize, get rid of stuff that I haven't used in years that I'm still holding on to for some reason. Uh, I want to get rid of it, especially if other people could use it. Um, and once everything is done, I could do the small projects in the shed. The uh, towel, the, um, I'm sorry, the pillowcase dresses, um, I'd be better off with the rotary cutter and the mat on the table to cut off what I need, or marking them on the table and then cutting them that way.
um, what I've seen on social media, some people near the curb of their property, they'll put, make like a little um, wooden box on a, a pole where they put um, some food in it that they don't need. And anybody walking by or driving by that needs something, they could either put food in it or take something if they need it. Um, I've seen that with people doing little bookcases. Um, also in New York, the uh, little bookcases near, one was near a beach, and um, I forget where I saw one or two others that had bookcases. Take a book or leave a book. Um, I'd like to see more people doing the food. Well, you know, even food and um, books, if they could put, a, if their town or county, village, whatever, permits it to put up little um, things where you could leave books and nothing huge, of course. You know, something that will hold maybe 50 books, something small, and then maybe uh, on the food, also hold maybe uh, 50 canned goods or... Uh, well, it'd be all sorted up, mixed up foods. It'd be like a, maybe boxes of pasta, boxes of potatoes, um, some canned goods, um, just you know different things, uh, snacks. I'd also like to see uh, along the curbs, um, different uh, fruit trees, apples, bananas, pears, um, oranges. Just along the street for those that are homeless or going about their business, they're hungry, grab a piece of fruit. I mean, maybe for the homeless or somebody with kids that, you know, kids are, oh, mommy, I want this, mommy, I want that, mommy, I'm hungry. You're out and about doing errands, so you grab a piece of fruit off the tree. Just now some ideas that are being thrown out there. That would know, be nice for us to help our fellow uh, being there's so many people in need that don't have sad sometimes. I mean, we all fall on hard times and people would rather kick you while you're down and make sure you stay down instead of lifting you up and trying to help you and saying, hey, what could I do to help uh, people here in America? What could I do to help people overseas? What could I do to help people in both areas? It's you know, people don't understand until they've been there how hard it is for people at times. And it's not right that people should be hungry or thirsty or homeless. And I'm sure there's all things that we could be doing differently to better ourselves and our families. But there's just so many people, like I said, they fall on hard times, especially now with corona. They're losing their jobs. They're losing their homes. They're ending up in homeless shelters. They're ending up on the streets. You know, it's sad. I mean, it's one thing if you got to, you know, uh, scrape and scrounge to get a little extra in the house in the way of food and beverage, especially like if it's sodas and snacks, stuff that we really don't need, but nice to have as a treat. But you shouldn't have to scrimp and scrape, scrip and try and save whatever you could to have to pay your electric bill or food or your mortgage bill or your light bill, so your kids could have lights on. I'm just sad that society, I don't know if it's society or what, gotten so bad that everybody's hurting the way they are. Well, not everybody, but so many people are hurting, and it's just sad. I mean, we knock each other down instead of lifting each other up and trying to say, here, yeah, this is a hand up, not a hand out. Not everybody wants something for nothing, but sometimes just to get back on your feet, you need to accept that bag of groceries or um, anybody that knows you do crafts or whatever, or even candle making, soap making. Somebody knows you do that stuff. They got supplies they don't need. They Give it to the person to help them better themselves and then just tell them to pay it forward. It's so easy to, much easier to be kind and helpful and thoughtful then to be kicking people down, I don't understand why people kick, make sure people that, that stay down, kick them when they're down. I don't understand why anybody in their right mind would do something like that to somebody. 
it's so horrible. And people just don't get it until it's them that fell on hard times. And then, oh, gee, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I shouldn't have treated people the way I did. Or looked down on them the way I did. And sometimes people, it's too late when they realize what they did was wrong. We all need help at one time or another. I'm looking at the time, it says 2050, but um, then there's a slash mark, and it says 2941. I don't know what that 2941 is, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm at 21 minutes, so I have plenty of time to finish this for everyone. I know I did a lot of tools. See, I don't have much to go. Here's where I started. Here's where I am now. So I just got this little bit here to do. I'll get it done in this video. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. I was picking up my lunch. But sometimes people just need to hear another voice. Outside of the regular voices that they hear. You know, family, friends, neighbors, what they, you know, they see on TV, or the written or the radio. When I watch other people's channels, I always leave a comment, and I like the video, and I, I I'll subscribe if I have to. And if it's a channel that I like and I'm not subscribed yet, I'll subscribe. I'll like the video and I comment on the video, and I also share the video out so that others could see it. And I also sometimes share the channel out so that you could see the whole channel. Instead of just a couple of videos here, a couple of videos there. I ex I don't expect people to uh, subscribe to me or like and share my uh, videos. But for those that do, I appreciate it and thank you. And I only do it because, you know, it'd be nice if somebody, you know, does it for my channel. Share it out. Share out my videos. Um... Leave a comment relevant to the video. Um, like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment. Now, I'd like for people to do that for me. I don't expect it, but I do do it for others because I believe sharing is caring. So if you like a video, subscribe to it, share it, share out the person's channel. It's I look at it as all just showing that you... Not only took the time to watch the video, but you took time to like it, leave a comment, share it out. And it shows YouTube that, oh gee, it, this is an active channel. People are liking it. Let's watch see what they're doing correctly. Why is this video more popular than their other videos or whatever? Well, let's just try and you know, do what we could to see that this channel keeps growing. And uh, stays growing and stays strong. And, you know, you, YouTubers, uh, we get used to each other's channels. It's like we're one big happy family. There's several channels that I watch. It seems we all seem like family. We pray for each other. We cry together. We, um, sorry, I'm getting antsy. Um, sitting too long. Should have uh, walked a minute before I started this video. But I chose not to. <clears throat> oh, almost done. So I could show you guys what it looks like. Totally finished. I don't think I've ever made a scrunchie this fast.
like 27 minutes. I hope I don't have to do another video, but I may have to. I just hate having to make everybody watch three and four videos if they don't have to. Like I said, I'm not a fast knitter and crocheter. I like doing everything properly and giving the customer something nice. I was going to make a white one because white goes with everything. But I don't know how well the white would have showed up on video. So that's why I chose something with a little color in it. I always liked rainbow. Rainbow, orange, purple. Colors with a rainbow. Be a dull and boring world if we're a society if we all like the same thing. Just about done, and there'll be another project completed. I'm probably going to do a video of me putting together a tree, a crocheted tree, and that'll probably be one video, one or two videos in itself, and then I'll probably do a couple of um, videos where I'm putting the faces on the puppets. Uh, now I'm putting the final um, slip stitch to end it. And then I'm going to just cut a little bit to pull it through the last stitch. And then I just work it through the stitches so in case it comes apart, you have a little extra to work with. You don't need a lot extra to work.